This presentation focuses on procedures in NetLogo, specifically command procedures. Procedures are a fundamental programming concept. It allows us to break our code up into pieces. Usually we use decomposition to help us with that process. And those pieces become named blocks of code which we can call or invoke in the program by using the procedure's name to get executed within the major portion of the code. In NetLogo, all user-defined procedures start with the keyword to and end with the keyword end. There are two types of procedures in NetLogo, command procedures and reporter procedures. You have already used command procedures in NetLogo because you've used a set of command and a go command. The basic structure of a command procedure is to and then the command procedure name. After that you'd have some lines of code and then you would end the procedure with the end statement. Another type of procedure is a reporter procedure. Reporter procedures serve the same purpose as command procedures, except that they use expressions and they return a value. The basic structure of a reporter procedure is as follows. It starts with a to report command, followed by the reporter procedure name. After that, there will be some lines of code which will probably contain expressions. Once the body of the procedure is completed, you would follow that with a report command which would return a value back to your program. This value might be a number or a boolean. Then you would end your reporter procedure with the end statement. We don't use reporter procedures as often as we use command procedures. We may take some time in a later video to describe them more fully. Command procedures in NetLogo. Below is an example of a setup procedure called setup1. It clears the NetLogo world, creates 10 turtles, distributes them randomly across the NetLogo plane, and sets their color to red. One important thing that you should know about procedures in general is that you can call a procedure inside another procedure. Let's look at an example below. In this example, we've taken the setup procedure from the previous slide and broken it into two procedures. One of them is called setup2, and the other procedure is called change turtles. In the setup2 procedure, we clear the NetLogo world and create 10 turtles. Then we call the change turtles procedure, which is a procedure used by the observer agent. In the change turtles procedure, we ask the turtles to distribute themselves randomly across the NetLogo plane and set their color to red. So why use procedures? On the previous two slides, we used a simple example to demonstrate how you might use procedures, but it doesn't really explain why you would want to use procedures. When you create procedures, you decompose your problem and your program into simpler parts. This makes your code easier to understand and easier to write. Also, you can reuse that length of code that's within your procedure later in your program by calling your procedure thus reducing duplicate code. Using procedures also makes it easier to isolate errors and find bugs in your program. Here's an example of how you might want to use procedures when you model a problem or system. Let's look at modeling a rabbit ecosystem. In your model, you might look at rabbits moving around, rabbits eating grass, rabbits giving birth to other rabbits, and rabbits dying, say, from running out of food. Now there are other parts you might look at. For instance, rabbits might eat things besides grass, and rabbits might die from things besides lack of food. But for this simple model, we're just going to look at those four things. So here's one of the procedures that you would have in your program. This procedure called Rabbits Live calls four other procedures in your program. Rabbits move, rabbits eat, rabbits reproduce, and rabbits die. Now let's go and see what this might look like in that logo. Here's a part of the code for the rabbits live model. And you can see that we have that rabbits live procedure that we talked about. 
And it calls these four procedures down here, rabbits move, rabbits eat, rabbits reproduce, and rabbits die. We don't care too much about the details of those procedures at this time, though we might do some modeling later that looks similar to this. Let's go and look and see how the program might work. So we can set up our NetLogo world using a procedure called rat, rabbit setup, and then we can run rabbits live. And we see that the rabbits have multiplied and are eating the grass, and now they're dying off until there are no more rabbits left. That's a simple model that would use procedures and call procedures within other procedures. And you can see that doing so makes the program easier to understand. In summary, a procedure is a block of code that can be called or invoked by its name. In NetLogo, there are two types of procedures, command procedures and reporter procedures. You use procedures so that you can decompose your problem and your program into simpler steps, making it easier to understand. And this allows you to reuse code within your program and reduce duplicate code. Also, it makes it easier to debug your program if you'd like more information on procedures, please go to your NetLogo manual or your NetLogo dictionary. Thank you.